Silent Legion as real here. Like always, I don't know what this is. It looks funny. Let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. Oh, okay, well, that okay, was a shit we show. Go, we gotta do human frentipede, yeah? What is a human frentipede? It's a photo we always take that's like the movie Human Centipede, where they're sewn together mouth to anus, but it's with friends, so it's special. I get the middle! Ugh, why do you want the middle? This is it, your bachelorette weekend. Oh, You're God. Really dreaming about this moment. Weirdos. First day of freshman year. We are gonna be swimming in dick, girl. <laughs> I just got coke from the bus boy. What? So everyone's in. Dope, 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 yes. I was kind of hoping that we could make it an early night. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, I don't think so, baby girl. <laughs> That's not the girl from... Put on these fucking sashes. That's not the girl from X-Men First Class, is it? The butterfly one? This is gonna be great. We are totally fucked. There was this guy in Australia who cooked his girlfriend and ate her. Ew, I can't because I am vegan. That's Kate McKinnon, right? Am I saying her name right? This can still be the best weekend ever. SNL girl. Oh! I probably have HPV now. Whatever, we all have HPV. I don't have HPV. This can still be the best weekend of our fucking lives. He's a. Oh, I didn't realize, man. He's dead. Yes. I probably. And that part. Whatever. We all have HPV. I don't have HPV. If you've had sex after the year 1991, then you do have HPV. Oh, then I have like a shit ton of HPV. Clumps and clumps of it. <laughs> Definitely a movie I want to see. 100%. 100%. It looks great. It looks funny. It looks hilarious. Uh, fan of Scarlett Johansson. Not a fan of every movie she's been in. Um, I like how the freaking Snapchat was the ghost, but instead they put the Rough Night sash on it. Sash on it. That was pretty funny. Um, this was, looks like... I never saw Bridesmaids. <clears throat> and then there was like... What was the other one with... Uh, Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, where they had the house party. Never saw that. Um, but this looks like one of those type of movies with, like, girls night out and just shit hits the fan. And that, this one looks really good. It's not with the same typical group. Although, um, is it Kate McKinney or McKinnon? I, can't, I think it's McKinnon. Oh, fuck. The one, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying her name right, but the one that was doing the fake Australian accent. She's been in a lot of those kind of crazy movies, and she's in this one, but everybody else is very unique, which is cool. I, I'm tired of seeing Kristen Wiig in, like, every female funny movie there is now, whether it's the shit version of Ghostbusters, uh, or the all-girl cast, I should say. And uh, I think she was in Bridesmaids, and it was just a lot of garbage that just had, like, the same people over and over again. Melissa McCarthy and shit, like... Nobody cares, man. Come out with one good movie. Don't do like the Kevin Hart thing and just, you know, destroy everything in like 2015 and then just not be that big right now. Because that's what happened. He was so huge. He was, he was talked about all the time. He, he's still big, but he was getting more talk and more airtime for people talking about him. Now people aren't talking about him all that much uh, as far as who's on, like the TV people aren't. The people are. He's still as big and huge to the people. But it's like, you know, a band can still be huge even if it's not getting radio time. They're still big with the fans and just people and touring. It's a different thing. But when you don't get the air time, it's a whole different scenario. So, like, Kevin Hart doesn't really get a lot of TV time that we see. He's not doing all these interviews and stuff like he was. Doing, like, records of selling out stadiums. But that's the same thing, like, Melissa McCarthy... Um, 
I don't. My, Maya Rudolph wasn't in all of them, but uh, Kristen Wiig and uh, like it started with Bridesmaids, something else, Bridesmaids Two, and then I think another movie. And Melissa McCarthy was like, she was in like all these weird. Like she was one with the. Um, Oh God, she was the one. Where she was like the cop or whatever with the uh, I can't remember her name. Oh God, what's her name? I can't actually remember the woman's name. The one that was the the tall one that's you know was at one point pretty. I can't remember her name. I'm not gonna remember it. Um, she was the one that was in Gravity with what's his dumbass. That's the same guy in every movie. Either way, for those that know what I'm talking about, awesome. For not look up Gravity, look up the fucking girl. Look up Melissa McCarthy. And look at what cop movie she was in. But she was in like Bridesmaids 1, 2, then she was in that movie. It's like Kevin Hart when he was in freaking Central Intelligence with The Rock. and a, The Rock's in a bunch of movies, but it doesn't get like tiresome. Uh, I wonder if he understands that that news Fast and the Furious was absolutely the worst thing ever made. Yeah. Maybe The Rock won't be in the next one. Either way, uh, I, the whole point of the ramble session here is that a lot of these people, a lot of the same people did the same style of movies every, like in like one to two years. And it was horrible. They might have been funny. They might have been good the first time. You may like the second one. As someone that really never watched them because they just never anything that interests me. I got to, I got to see the playtime, people talking about it, the interviews, all that bullshit. And... Uh, it's nice to see a new group of girls coming out that can be funny, that aren't maybe necessarily known for being funny all the time. Uh, 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 Scarlett Johansson is a funny woman, and a funny person, not defined by being a woman, but just a funny person. And uh, everyone else is like, you know, of course, is it McKinney? Uh, I, I can't remember her name, but the, she, the, the fake Australian, she's from SNL. And she's just one of the funniest people you'll ever hear. Does a great Justin Bieber impression, so look that up. So it's nice to see some people doing some different stuff. That's all I'm saying. But with that, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, if you like the video, like the content, you can always leave a like, subscribe, or share. Remember, it's completely up to you. Do I do appreciate, though. It does help me out in some way or another. And, uh, yeah, if you want to leave a comment discussing anything on this channel, anything on this video specifically, Please leave a comment down below. Love to see and love to hear all the comments. My throat is giving out. Oh, God, it's strained. Um, yeah, once again, again, probably. My name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.